mm-hmm. f- uh, fight extradition be brought into the United States? You read that. Mm-hmm. So, so I, don't I guess know. if so, say he was. Let's break so, so that you down. Have a, you have a yeah. foreign national <laughs> who's coming in, say from from. <laughs> oh, Haiti he's being extradited. Yeah, he's so, right. so, that's and, what he's and so I think he's that's back in here. criminal. It depends. Well, not even coming back. So sometimes if if. Uh, you know, they can just extradite them if they think they violated well, like federal laws. Some kind of laws. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if they violated uh, federal laws, they can they can just they can just bring them here, even if they've never been here. So they can bring them into the country just to prosecute them. Wow. So, the answer is. So well, I mean, to answer Mr. Camarino's question, um, so what happens is there's when you have an extradition order. So there has to be obviously there has to be enough information for the federal government to even be able to extradite someone. And so you have, there's a couple things. You've got to look at the, whatever agreement, accord or treaty that, 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 that the United States has with that con- with that country mm-hmm. to determine whether or not, Hey, is there even, is there even an agreement to extradite? And they're going to look at whether or not they're essentially the government sets forth sufficient cause to extradite someone. And then based on that, once that happens, then then they're going to move forward with the extradition. And if the other the the host country, the home country, agrees, then they'll detain that person subject to the extradition process. Now you can you can waive a lot of the fight that comes along with the extradition, and it can be a lot quicker. Uh, you can fight it in your home country and say I don't want to be extradited, and it can take a lot longer. Um, so I think to answer Mr. Cameron's question, you can you can fight it. The question becomes what is in your best interest you know do you want to sit in in your in your home country for two years in custody fighting it do you want to try to get here uh, on, a, on a speedier extradition and, and kind of get here in about 10 months which is what it would take um and then ultimately still fight the criminal charges once you get here and then knowing and yanni you're going to know this better mm-hmm. than i do realizing that once that person then serves their sentence so they're going to be deported Deported. back to to their country anyway so they get to they get they get a a fun ticket to come all the way here to to serve prison time and then they Mm -hmm. get sent back and and from my experience once the federal government has some kind of reason to come after you Mm -hmm. they're coming after you yes and and for the most part you're going to be extradited and i agree with with what you said you might as well not fight in the home country because they're going to send you here you might as well come yeah, um, and then fight. And you can fight your, fight case, your here. case here. You can still fight your case here while you're in, um, while you're you're in custody. Yeah, I agree. Yeah.